Well, good evening. Here we are. It's coming up to ten past six on Tuesday, seventh of December. Let's come before the Lord. Bring him our prayer and praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise for ever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 11 In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? But look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth, his eyes examine them. Psalm 11 Continues, the Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulphur. The scorching wind will be their lot. But the Lord is righteous, he loves justice, the upright will see his face. Psalm 12 Help, Lord, for no one is faithful any more. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbour. They flatter with their lips, but harbour deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail. Our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked, who freely strut about when what is vile is honoured by the human race. How long, Lord, will you forget Psalm 13? Sorry. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death and my enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. Amen.
Isaiah chapter 46 Bel bows down, Nebo stoops low. Their idols are borne by beasts of burden. The images that are carried about are burdensome, a burden for the weary. They stoop and bow down together, unable to rescue the burden. They lay themselves go they lay themselves. So they lay themselves go off into captivity. What am I reading? Listen to me, you descendants of Jacob, all the remnant of the people of Israel, you whom I have upheld since your birth and have carried since you were born. Even to your old age and grey hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. With whom will you compare me or count me equal? To whom will you liken me that we may be compared? Some pour out gold from their bags and weigh out silver from on the scales. They hire a goldsmith to make it into a god and they bow down to it and worship it. They lift it to their shoulders and carry it. They set it up in its place and there it stands. From that spot it cannot move. Even though someone cries out to it, it cannot answer. It cannot save them from their troubles. Remember this, keep it in mind. Take it to heart, you rebels. Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. From the east I summon a bird of prey, from a far off land a man to fulfil my purpose. What I have said that I will bring about, what I have planned that I will do. Listen to me, you stubborn hearted, you who are now far from my righteousness. I am bringing my righteousness near, it is not far away. And my salvation will not be delayed. I will grant salvation to Zion, my splendour to Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Surely, Surely I am coming, coming soon. soon. Amen. Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and offspring of David. I'm the bright morning star. Come say the spirit and the bride come let each hearer reply come forward you who are thirsty let those who desire take the water of life as a gift to the one who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might for ever and ever amen surely i am coming soon amen Come, Lord Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. You know, brothers and sisters, that our visit to you was not without results. We had previously suffered and had been treated outrageously in Philippi, as you know, but with the help of our God, we dared to tell you his gospel in the face of strong opposition. For the appeal we make does not spring from error or impure motives, nor are we trying to trick you. On the contrary, we speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We're not trying to please people, but God who tests our hearts. You know we never used flattery, nor did we put a mask to cover up greed. God is our witness. We were not looking for praise from people not like you or anyone else, even though as apostles of Christ. We could have asserted our authority. Instead, we were like young children among you. Just as a nursing mother cares for her children, so we cared for you. 
because we loved you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. Surely you remember, brothers and sisters, our toil and hardship. We worked night and day in order not to be a burden to anyone while we preached the gospel of God to you. You were witnesses, and so is God, of how holy, righteous and blameless we were among you who believed. For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting and urging you to live lives worthy of God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My, my soul, soul is, is waiting, waiting for you, you O Lord. Lord. In, in your, your word, word is, is my, my hope. hope. There is forgiveness with you so that you shall be feared. In, in your, your word, word is my hope. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting, waiting for you, O Lord. Lord. In, in your, your word, word is my, my hope. Those, Those who, who keep, keep and teach the commandments will be, will be considered, considered great in heaven. heaven. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the, Son, and and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for all that has happened this day, for the blessings, for the challenges, for the opportunities and the pains. Father God, we come before you and we thank you for all that this day has held. And we lay the evening before you now, asking that you would be pleasant that you would bless that we would unwind relax and prepare for bed in gentleness and peace lord in your mercy hear our prayer father we pray for the world and its conflicts this night for its stresses its problems its needs father god we pray that you would be a blessing to the world as we lift its needs to you, that you would, as you do, take this world and nurture it, care for it, and be its answer to every need. And Father, in a day where the West find themselves uncomfortable over the potential of Russia, involving Ukraine. Father, we pray for the peace of the world. We pray for the places of this world where cruelty is an everyday reality, where things are the wrong, are the norm. Father God, this night as we lay the world before you, be its saviour. May your light shine 
may the darkness of men's hearts be overcome by all you are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the people we know and love this night. We pray for the needs. We pray for the hope, for the reality that your love brings. Father God, we lift to you the people places, the things, Father be with those we pray for this night, and may their day have been blessed and may this evening be one of strengthening and security. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hosts who called Ambrose from the governor's throne to be a bishop in your church and an intrepid champion of your faithful people, mercifully grant, as he did not fear to rebuke rulers, so we with like courage may contend for the faith we have received. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being with us. John, I'll see you shortly. Have a good evening all. Be blessed, be safe and stay warm. Bye for now.